by Steve Nash and Sean Marks. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are actually new to the channel, I am your host as always, Rasheed White. And as everyone can actually see with the title and the thumbnail on screen, Kevin Durant has actually made an ultimatum saying, hey, is it me or Sean Marks and, or, and, and Steve Nash? And, and now, this is a really, really precarious situation. And of course, we know what should actually happen. I hear a lot of people getting emotional uh, when I called into NBA radio saying, oh, this is the player empowerment. Listen, Kevin Durant is the actual product, okay? He's the guy that people actually want to go and see. You can always get another coach you can always get another general manager, but they, you, it's hard to actually get another another Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is a once in a lifetime, almost a generational player. And he chose you to, act, you know, he chose the Brooklyn Nets, I'm sorry, to actually come there and play and to try to make this franchise actually relevant. So let's look at the history of Sean Marks here. And I said this, I did a video about a month ago that he needs to be fired. He mishandled the Kyrie Ir Irvin situation the whole year. The whole year. He fires Kevin Durant's shooting coach. He gets a uh, a coach in there that doesn't actually, he didn't want, he didn't want, no, he didn't want Steve Nash. This is what actually Sean Marks wants. And Kevin Durant's his boy. And there was an article, I was searching for this article. It was about um, one month ago, it was on ESPN. And it was actually saying, hey, man, I don't like the way you're treating Kyrie. You know, you guys haven't actually got a chance to really kind of know him. You, you didn't get a chance to actually understand him. And when they didn't want to give him the max offer, then Kevin Durant just asked for his uh, his, his trade, uh, asked for a trade. And, you know, this guy, Rick Hamill on NBA radio saying, oh, this is the, he, want, he doesn't want to be there. He wanted to be there. He actually signed a four-year deal. If he didn't really, if he was a little iffy, he could have signed a two-year deal. He signed a four-year contract to actually play with them for four years. Now, if they signed Kyrie Irving for the max 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 dollars, then um, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. And I don't know if Joe Cy was actually involved in this. I think more or less, you know, owners aren't really basketball people so they really kind of get somebody like like if you have a business in a sense though let's say if i wanted to get into a business i don't know nothing about in a sense though let's say if i wanted to become a movie producer and i'm gonna get the best guy who actually knows how to run it and do everything possible and i'm gonna try to stay out the damn way so i don't know if joe Cy was actually involved but i know you know you not want to give kyrie urban a max contract player and yes He's a max contract player. I don't care how you feel. The facts are the actual facts. Uh, I mean, one definition of a max contract player, people actually want to see him play. So he that makes him a max contract player. Multiple all-star teams. Um, um, skill set. I mean, he, he shot, was it, when it was on a championship run, the first year they came together, 50, 40, 90. He's a high percentage one-on-one -on -one player. Uh, we seen what he actually did with the, uh, you know, when he was with the Cavaliers. I mean, he 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 was the reason why they actually won that championship. He hit the big shot. He played excellent defense on Steph Curry. Uh, Kyrie Irving is the real deal, and you screwed with him. So Sean Marks committed suicide. You lost. I mean, you could arguably say that he, uh, uh, Steve Nash was one of the reasons why. James Harden wanted to leave. Here we go, right here. Let's let's get into this. Let's let's get into this article right here. Let's hold on one second over here, and uh, because everybody, you know, a lot of people, especially like in the media, seems to actually have goldfish memories. All right, so this was. Um, let me see. Let me see. This is back in January twenty fifth. Um, Report, James Harden disappointed with the Steve Nash coaching. Doesn't like living in Brooklyn. Um, all right, so yeah, exactly. So what, they, what Steve Nash was, was doing 
was he would dump the ball into Kevin Durant and say, hey, Kevin Durant, go to work. And you got these guys just standing around and actually watching. And you got uh, Kevin Durant actually bringing the ball up 94 feet, especially you saw it in the, in the playoffs. Now, the last video I did, I said the last, against Boston, you got to – listen, that's cool to actually play that way in a sense where you, you want to go uh, iso-centric, iso-heavy. But certain matchups, it's just, you know, if James Harden has a better matchup, let James Harden go to work. If Kyrie Irving has a weak matchup, let Kyrie go to work. In a sense, though, let the other team actually make adjustments. Um, but yeah, so James Harden didn't like uh, uh, Steve Nash's coaching style. So, um, now based on this, based on this, you can never ever. I mean, he he, he can't play. He can't play for uh, uh, Steve Nash again come September, and he also can't play, uh, I mean, you know, say he can't be there with Sean Marks there. He, he essentially say, hey, the owner has to fire them immediately, immediately. And then I think Sean Marks was actually trying to blame the, the season, how it went on, oh, we need selfless players. And, and when you don't want to get to the core issues, why the Nets didn't succeed this year? Because they had three impact players dealing with injuries. And yes, injuries matter, guys and gals, if y'all are watching this. Injuries do matter. They do matter. I, I'm sorry to tell you that. If you have Seth Curry on one leg, <laughs> I, I mean, there, there's nothing much he can really do offensively in a sense, though. He has to be a catch-and-shoot player, but that can easily be taken away from him in a sense, though. Because especially when... The way the coaching is so yeah i i i'm with um kevin durant on this i called this about a month ago this show is about making uh predicting tomorrow's news today in a sense though i said it's going to come down to kevin durant and it's going to come down to uh steve nash there both needs to be fired immediately today uh maybe uh, uh, uh snyder's out there and get and you just look at the actual uh yeah, yeah, Kevin Durant's not stupid. He's a high basketball, has a high basketball IQ. High basketball IQ. I mean, just listen to him talk. Just don't watch him play. Listen to him talk. He has a very, very high basketball IQ. He knows more basketball than Sean Marks. And if he tells you to get somebody, you do it. You get him. All right? He's not, he's not emotional. Yeah. Oh, I feel, oh, yes, I want this. No, no, the dude has a basketball mind. He has a basketball mind. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have no notes on this. There's probably more I actually want to say on this. But, I, I mean, I was so excited when I actually heard this news. And we can get, like, a ready. Oh, yeah, what was I actually saying, though? Yeah, you look at the way the actual Golden State Warriors finds players, right? Kaminga, Moody. Uh, um, Jordan Poole, you look at the Memphis Grizzlies roster, who is winning without John Morant. <laughs> I mean, they actually have a lot of help. I mean, Kevin Durant, they actually, I mean, Kevin Durant, they actually have a lot of help this year. It wasn't a deep roster. It was a good roster, let's say, from one to six. Memphis is deep. Golden State is deep. So they're finding players in late round draft picks. Why the hell you're not doing it? Sean Marks is not a good general manager. I don't care if you dislike the video. I don't give a F. All right, so let's wrap this video up. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.